So, hello, I'm Helen Jones and I'm an artist based in Bristol and I do mainly drawing, so I do a lot of um, very dark drawings and um, so today I'm going to do a demonstration, that's my Instagram up there, Helen Jones Drawing on Instagram and um, yeah, so today I'm going to do a demonstration of my drawing techniques. So most of my drawings are done with black pastel, charcoal, a bit of Conte crayon, and um, I use this technique called erasure, which is just using um, things to take away. So rubbers um, and cotton wool and um, scrapey things. And so I use that to take the um, pigment off the paper. So it's often, well, more often than not, I start with white, a white background. And, um, and then, so today, I'm going to be um, working on a series of drawings, which I did. I'm doing them from photographs, but they're collaged together, and I kind of link them together with memory of the energy of the sea and the sky from that day. So it was a trip to Hastings in February this year. Uh, when it was a really um, stormy weekend and um, so I'm going to do a demonstration on here and um, basically when I start drawing I start with a white page and um, I have to kind of visualise how it's going to look when you're using photography I don't always use photography quite often if I'm doing sea and clouds I can just conjure them out of the, the marks on the paper but um, because I'm doing this based on this trip to Hastings I am using um, photography to uh, inspire and inform the marks that I make and um, so I, um, I've got um, several images on a phone here from that trip and there's things I like from all of these images but I'm going to start with this image and um, so I'm going to look at that and I'm going to put some tone on the paper and in here you'll see that I have um, uh, ground up um, almost to powder uh, black um, pastel so I used a pestle and mortar and there's, there's other De debris in there but it's basically there's a cotton wool bud because quite often you use those to draw with as well but um, as you can see it's kind of just um, ground up into a, a, a little bit grainy um, powder so um, <clears throat> I'm going to just use a cotton wool pad like this to um, start to get my um, kind of the kind of um, tone on the paper and it's really weird because um, when you're doing this quite quickly you, you just start to see that it's really beautiful to get all these other tones in uh, to get like a variation of tone and straight away you see like a, a place appearing on your paper so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this in that's the that's the horizon line that's in there and the sort of clouds up. I'm just putting this powder on to, um, so that I can work into it later. And I'm just gonna put darker powder in here. I should be wearing a mask. I do wear a mask most of the time when I'm working, but um, it's so hot in here today. I've not got one on, so. Um, and then I'm just going to start to get the sort of shape of, of the things that are happening in the sea and I know there's going to be this sort of darker area here where the, the sea water's a bit calmer and being dragged and then round here it's really going to be lots of foam and then here, down here, there's a really dark bit of, of wave. 
Anyway, I'm going to switch to time lapse now so that you'll see this happening. And then I'll, I'll come back because then once I've got all this tone on, um, I will start to use the eraser and um, I'll be adding and taking away the tone. So when I get to that point of the drawing, I'll, I'll come back to you. But now I'm going to switch to a time lapse. Okay, so <laughs> I have got to this stage in uh, putting the tone on and already, <laughs> you know, it looks like maybe you've not got your contact lenses in or, you know, your glasses have fallen off something or you've got, you know, mist in your, there's a lot of mist, but it's got that kind of already, it looks like a sort of blurry landscape and you can almost see the energy of the sea and stuff. But what I'm going to do now is start to use um, some erasers. I really like these erasers. I'm actually down to my last box of 10. Um, I usually buy like 100 at a time. I get them from um, a company called PEL, which is in the, some preservation company that sells things to help you preserve um, books and things and furniture. And um, they sell them and I can buy them in boxes of like 10 for like three quid or something. So, but if you buy them on the, um, if you buy them on eBay or Amazon or one of the art shops, they're probably about a pound each or maybe even two pounds each. So they're quite expensive, but they are so nice. They're made of like um, a gum, uh, like a gum resin. Um, anyway, so what? why they're nice is they really, really take away the, um, they really take away the pigment off the paper. So this here is going to be some really big waves and they're probably going to be bigger than these marks that are indicated. Uh, and then this is going to be the white um, thing. So what I'm going to get here is I'm just going to start to put some marks in using the rubber. And so I'm just going to make some marks so that you can see how the rubber starts to be what you're drawing with and not the dark, you're drawing with the light. And um, I love the way that you can sort of play with the marks that you're making and uh, make sort of any kind of weird marks and they start to imply, like an impressionistic painting, they start to imply what is there. Um, and also on my drawing, on my photograph here, there's this gorgeous, um, there's some, um, there's a sea break coming out of the water. So I'm actually going to start to just put that in. Um, just by using the pastel as a drawing implement. So just going to let that appear. And as you can see, I don't actually draw the whole thing, I just draw some of it and then use my finger to rub the pastel to create the rest of it. Right, so I'm going to go back to time lapse now. So you can see that I'm working in and out of the drawing, so I'm adding and I'm taking away. So um, I'm just going to just talk about where I'm up to in the drawing and the charcoal on my face. Um, so um, I start to keep stepping back from the drawing and looking at what bits need to be worked 
and checking my reference image and um, I'm not doing the sky from the reference image I'm just doing the I'm going to probably put something in that's a bit more um, stormy looking to match the sea and um, yeah so I just keep going back and like looking at where I need to build up and where I need to add in and then start taking away and um, uh, it's a case of stepping back and looking at where the areas need to be worked. I'm not even halfway through this drawing. I mean, this is probably, this is probably, um, you know, the, still quite near the beginning. Even though probably on the camera it looks more developed than it is. There's going to be um, what I do. I tend to use, start to do very fine lines and things now using the sides of my. Um, sides of my rubber so I can get much more delicate lines in so this is going to be a wave coming over here and I'm going to just almost let the edge of this rubber dance along here to create these watery um, almost like lacy marks and um, I'll kind of work those in and knock them back and then pull some of them forwards again um, so that they have lots of depth and tone in them. Okay, I'm just... Um going to mention um, rubber inside a pencil. So this is a, a pencil but instead of there being lead inside it there is um, there is uh, rubber. So I'm just basically sharpening this with a knife to try and get the pointiest point I can get on it because this will allow me to make some really nice delicate marks. Um, So yeah, so this is a, a, a rubber. I think they're made by Faber and Castell. I usually get them from University of West of England shop in Bar Ashton in Bristol, but I'm sure you can order them online. So they're Faber and Castell. I'm just um, showing you about this um, that almost I'm at dragging the rubber now just to kind of almost give a slightly uncontrolled line so that um, you know just like water would just run when it was in a sort of chaotic um, running thing <laughs> you know in a wave so and so these lines aren't so um, uniform and straight and I'm just sort of almost dragging the thing and I'm knocking some of the lines back and I'm putting adding in to give that depth inside the inside the wave and then these are the lines of the of the water that would be coming over the top so even though I'm working from a photograph I'm kind of just imagining this as a, I'm not looking at my photograph but I probably will go back to the photo and check that that kind of is what's happening in that moment they're not like a photograph they're not like a real representation they're just almost like a they're just a nod to the shapes and the marks that nature make and I love that I love the fact that you can create this image that's so almost photographic in a way but when you look at it it's so obviously not like those bits there and those bits but I can't I kind of keep going to keep going a little bit I almost know you'll get to some point where I'll, it'll be too far down the line of it being like photorealism and I, I really don't want that to happen. So it's knowing when to stop.
Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just finishing it off now. I'm just kind of <clears throat> looking for areas that are maybe too sketchy and make it fall down. But I also want to keep that sketchiness. I want it to be a drawing and not a rendering of a photograph. I want it to have... I want it to have the marks um, of, the, of the, uh, the materials. I'm just um, going to brush off all the excess and just have a little look at it, but it's really hard <laughs> to know when you've finished a drawing. Um, I, think, um, I, I think I'm just gonna say it is finished, but what I generally do with a drawing when it's finished is I leave it up on my studio wall for a few weeks and um, every time I come in and I might be working on another drawing I will um, work, keep looking back at the drawing like the one over there and um, I might see something that seems a bit unresolved and I might go back and do a bit on that at the same time as working on new drawings. So this is at that stage now. So I'm going to call it finished for this demonstration. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Okay.